Welcome back, everyone. All right, I just loaded this up. I have actually not looked at this uh, in a little while because I recorded so far ahead. I'm not doing that anymore. That's, that's you know, that's a thing of the past. Um, okay, so I need to catch up as much as you do, uh, if not more. Uh, where I left off. Okay, so the sheep are all in a new pen, so that's good. Good, good. And I've got some wool. Uh, I think I moved some of that over, and there's some more coming out. And I have pig food here, which I'm told is actually quite lucrative. So, um, yeah, might have a few bucks sitting there. Uh, we've got $61,000, so we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Um, I'm a little worried about something. I'm a little worried about something. I, w I really wasn't, you know, thinking far enough ahead. Um, this is uh, ready next month. Um, in its forage stage. And next month is going to be ready for full harvest. I'm running through the fields here. Um, so this is sorghum. Uh, that will be sold. We have no need for it. And this is two months away. So that's going to be ready. We have a new landing area. We have a new area to put in um, uh, fields or whatever. Whatever we decide to do with it. Let me teleport here to make this go a little faster. We've got grass that is in its forage stage. So next next uh, month is going to be ready. Are you seeing where I'm going with this? We got a lot of stuff coming up. Um, and we have this field here, which is recently harvested, but not um, not redrilled. So um, that's, yeah, something to do. We have a lot of work to do. And I feel like uh, we are episode, oh, I don't even remember. Um, I'm going to say we're in the high teens. And the 150, or sorry, I keep saying 150. I had that in my head for a really long time before I started this challenge. Uh, the 200 horsepower challenge is about to really start now. Um, we have a lot of fields, a lot of stuff ready, and very little small equipment. And I think this is where you know, the dirt meets the road, as they say. So, um... We, that's it. That's it for for land right now. Um, we got to start buying a lot of equipment, and that means sheds and whatnot. So I'm running around like a fool here. Uh, let's start with a couple of things. First thing I want to do is this guy's all empty. We exhausted all the food, and we're gonna get rid of it. Get it out of here. And we are going to after we harvest this, um, we are going to merge this into one bigger grass field. I think. I think we're going to do grass again here. So we're going to clean this up. Um, this is going to go as well. Uh, not quite yet, though. So actually, that's one field I didn't... I did not consider uh, this field. How's that going? That is... Uh, it's hard to tell from here. Let's run over. We'll run over. We're getting our exercise this morning. Do I have stuff in here? Um, yeah, I still have a lot of straw in here that needs to be processed. So that's good. That's more money coming. Oh, yeah, I can see the uh, bit more money came in. Oh, that came in from the sale of the, the sheep pen. What are we doing here? Oh, this will be ready in two months as well. So, yeah, guys, it's time. We have this open area here. I have to put in some sheds. Um, we might look at a uh, spinnery. I think I want a spinnery. Uh, we've got a lot of wool, and so I think we'll take advantage of that. And I want to put in a new cell point. So we've got a lot of plans, a lot of stuff to do. So I guess we need to get to it. And by saying that, I don't actually know what I'm doing next. Um, let's grab this guy. We'll grab our seed drill, and we'll get going on that field. Now, I'm getting a little tired of... Um, getting a little tired of this small seed drill. Um, and not only that, but also um, getting, you know, keep 
ordering pallets of fertilizer and stuff like that so i may put a couple of silos in where we can we can take you know buy deliveries of, of products so we always have them um okay so do i have stuff i do have a little bit of stuff over here somebody told me i need to bring up my menu here somebody told me that this speed drill is extenders uh, yeah, I don't get, um, I'm supposed to be able to attach multiple of these. Maybe I don't have the right seed drill for that. Oh, anyways, it's okay. It's a good seed drill. Um, it's just a little small for what we're doing. And, you know, the, the quick answer is we're probably getting a lot more tractors. Uh, I think the, the way that I really want to conquer this challenge is through having a large stable of, uh, of equipment. Okay, we have enough to fill up um, and work, you know, teams, teams, teams concept. Um, get multiple seed drills on one field, multiple harvesters, um, you know, work at it from that angle. So we're going to have to bulk up our inventory of equipment real soon. Like, really soon. I gotta be careful with my money. Alright, it's November now. I'm gonna put soybean in this field. I think it's a good timing for having it ready for the, the best price. So, we'll do that. And this is a direct drill, and it's going to fertilize. Let's get that going. Uh, oops, I didn't want to do nearest, and I certainly don't want to do that. Uh, we'll do two headlands. That should be good enough. That should be good enough. And uh, start with the headland. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. And I do want to first waypoint. All right. Let's get that started. All right, so uh, equipment wise, um, I think we're going to be okay with actually maybe buying another one of these cheap, cheap harvesters. Uh, we're going to need it mm, starting next up. Ne well, I say next episode next month, uh, which could be this episode. We'll see. We'll see how things go. Let me change the clock here a little bit. Um, I have a bigger project. I got to get this guy working again. So we're going to do that. Uh, what do I need for horsepower for that thing? I forget. I think it's low. Um, what is it again? It is 85. Yeah, it's pretty low, so I can use this guy. Mind you, this is the only one with the front loader. Do I need the front loader for anything right now? Um, actually, you know what? Let's not use that tractor. Let's put the star to work. I'm going to... No, I'm not going to leave that there. I uh, don't know where I want to put this. Yes, need sheds badly. Oh, this thing runs away. I keep forgetting about that. Okay, let's, uh, let's get this going. We're going to have to draw a course. Uh, we're going to mow the whole new open area that we have. Which is going to be a ton, a ton of grass. This whole area out here needs to be mowed. All right, so why don't I start with that? Let me get rid of this menu. Um, I want to, uh, I keep forgetting how to jump to that menu. There we go, I have to just click off. Okay, so draw custom field. And I think I'll start from, uh, I think it's easier. Let me zoom in a bit. There we go, I'll zoom in. I think it makes it easier if I'm zoomed in. Uh, we'll start 
No, it doesn't really matter where we start, does it? So we're gonna right click to here. Let's say to here, here. Getting fancy here a little bit. I don't think I want to go up into the corner, so I think I'm going to just come straight out here. I can always mow stuff manually too, right? So right down to here. Now here's the trick. And zoom right in. There we go. I think we're connected. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna save that as CP1. Okay. And then we're going to uh, first waypoint, temporary course. It's picking up the course. Okay, good, good, good. Now we're going to do this thing again because that seems to work really well. Uh, smooth corners, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, leave it on no bypass. I don't think that really matters. That's going to create a mess of a grid here. Look at that. Look at that. It's going to take a while. Um, and obviously, you know, reminder that that's that's a big challenge with this is um, keeping uh, keeping an eye on it so I don't lose. I'm going to have some residual to clean up down this corner here, some down here and over here. Anyway, so there'll be some a bit of cleanup work to do after. Uh, where's my start point? Let's see my start point. Where is it? Uh, because nothing is turned on, that's why. There we go. Where's it? Right there. Turn around. How are you guys doing today? Uh, yeah, this will be good. Okay, off we go. Again, this will take a while, like... This is not the fastest way to do it, um, but it is the least amount of work, easiest way to do it by far. So we might, we may or may not merge this all into one big field. I think we might. Um, it might be ready at the same time as after we, you know, finish harvesting that canola field right next to us. All right, what's next? What's next? So 66,000 bucks. I don't urgently need to buy equipment, but I will need to buy some equipment. Um, so what am I doing? I think I'm going to... Uh, pig food would have to be sold up top. Well, it doesn't have to be sold up top, but I should. Um, how are these guys doing? Let's check in on this. So we've got water, we got potatoes going to be coming out. I have been keeping an eye on that. And this is still... Oh, there's still quite a bit of potatoes in here. So this will be going for a while. We will get rid of both of these. Um, just not quite yet. Not quite yet. All right, what's next? I am going to... Uh, should I... Let's look at the sale. Is there anything good in here? What's this about? This is a purely a bale trailer. Don't need that. And I certainly don't need that. I don't not, not that I even have the money for it, so. Um alright, so big dilemma right now for me, trying to make up my mind on what I want to do. Do I want to buy more equipment right now or do I want to buy a cell point? The problem with cell points is they um They don't really make money. Um, it's it's a lot of money you put out there for something that doesn't generate on its own any anything. So, yeah, I'm a little concerned about that. And, uh, it's hard. It's hard to justify buying just pure sell points sometimes. Um, all right. Well, let's look at a couple of things. Let's look at a couple of the. We have we have lots of options. Uh, productions. So I want to look at spinneries. Uh, where are we? Spinnery, spinnery. 
Uh, where's the spinnery? Okay, so that's the default one. It's 60,000 bucks. It's a lot of money. But it will create clothes and whatnot. Um, I don't like the default one. I don't like the huge buildings. I don't know. That makes sense. I don't like the factory look kind of thing. Um, what else we have here? We got some stuff from the premium expansion. So we've got a, a unique bakery to the premium expansion. Unique dairy to the premium. Uh, potato. Ooh. Ooh, this could be interesting. This is premium. I think this is potato chips or crisps, as they say in the UK. Ooh, this could be an interesting. I would need to do oil as well, though. I need an oil production. Huh. Okay, I'm thinking gears are turning. That's 120,000, and that's not a cheap plant. Okay, so I, I want to say that's not priority right now, but it's probably maybe a direction we're going to head in. Reserved foods, I don't know if we're going to get into those, not sure. So this is a spinnery, it's a huge building, don't like it. I want like a small, there's, there's small ones, less intrusive. I had one on No Man's Land, that was kind of cool, it's a high output though, and uh, I want to say maybe Unreal a bit, so I probably won't use that one again. There is a small output, um, I think it's like grandma's sewing or something or other. Let's see if I can find that. Give me one sec. Okay, so I, I'm still looking, but I ran into this, um, which is kind of interesting. So this is a wool distributor. Uh, what it means, basically, is it... Um, you can put it near your sheep farm, um, and then what it does is it the input will be wool, but the output will also be wool. And, but the reason you want to use this, which seems kind of silly in concept, right? But the reason you want to use this is that um, it, what it allows you to do is to just put put it like set it up like right next to your sheep barn, right? I could put it right there if I wanted to. Um, and then the output can be, you can do three things with it. You can store it. Um, you can, I think you can store it. Um, but you can also set it to distribute. And you can set it to auto sell. Which, you know, any kind of auto sell, by the way, you know, it seems like a little bit, um, I don't know, I don't want to say cheaty, but... Um, you know, it's basically you're getting somebody to come to your place to buy the stuff as opposed to taking it somewhere to buy to sell it, right? Um, so, um, but, it, but it is pretty, uh, you take a hit, like a pretty serious hit. I think it's like 20 or 25% or something like that are the costs by having somebody buy stuff through, you know, auto sell. So this is an interesting little concept, and this is one of the things that I considered as a way to defeat the 150, uh, here we go again, um, the 200 horsepower uh, challenge is that I can have, I can buy a piece of land up by the store where we sell things, put up um, uh, uh, productions up there and have all of my stuff auto distribute up there which is cheesy as heck, but but it's a way to, you know, get up to the top of that hill without having to drive up and down it constantly. So I've considered that option, um, but realistically, I kind of, my original vision was to set up cell points around the map and have different options and go to different places and get put some variety and a little bit of color in the, in the gameplay, right? So, but this is kind of cool, though. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm thinking about this. Um, it, it would, I could just plop it down somewhere right over here and I could bring my pallets over. Oop, I won't let me place. Yeah, I could put my pallets over there and just, you know, with a forklift or something. 
and then have it send it to the, my spinnery, wherever that is. So. Something to think about. Okay. I'll be right back. Well. I did it, guys. I, uh... I was looking for options. Oh, the Stara. Um, I was looking for options for the spinnery, and I completely forgot about this guy, and I ended up probably losing a lot of grass in the process. I wasn't paying attention. He's at a hundred. This is the this is the serious flaw in this <laughs> strategy. Um, you get really got to keep an eye on on the progress. So, fail, 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 fail. This guy's pulling, I want to say okay, but I expected a, a little bit more uh, oomph. Alright, let's, uh, let's get this unloaded. And our fermenter and our money machine. This is really kind of what's what's keeping us afloat right now. This this thing. And we'll keep keep feeding it. All right, where are we? Where are we? Uh, we're doing grass and straw. So this is going to keep it's it's set to auto sell. So I'm just you know feeding off that money. Uh, this is going okay. Potatoes are coming in. I'm thinking I might turn. I might sell the. Um, might sell this guy now. Uh, I don't need more potatoes in here. I don't think. Um, and we do have a potato field coming up, so I think we're good for a while. So I think I'm going to go ahead and sell this open air garden. We might do something else, uh, somewhere somewhere else with this. But for now, I want to get it out of the yard. So why don't we do that? Actually, let's get this started again first. The thing about this little potato production here is it's uh, it's simple, it's easy, uh, but it is also kind of low low output. I need to fix the ground here. We're gonna move the silo at some point as well, which I need to check what I've got in there. I kind of forgot. Should be able to just set this guy last waypoint. Should find his way over. Philip worker Philip. I downloaded a mod that lets me name name workers, but I haven't really changed the defaults yet. Yeah, we'll do uh, we'll do something with that at some point. Okay, back to here. So there's only water in here. Oops, I'm not allowed to do that, am I? Oh, but I can pick up without super strength. Okay. Let's dump this in here. And then I am going to get rid of this. There we go. Yeah, we're going to transform the yard a little bit out here. And uh, I want to I want the free space. This is going to go as well at some point when we when we can afford that fancy potato production. OK, um, where was I? Spinnery. I'm still looking for a spinnery, aren't I? Um, I got it. Back at it. OK, I think I'm going to go with this old classic, the swirling spindle. Um, it's not big. I don't like big, right? So that's kind of the, the thing. And I'm not sure where I want to put it, but this actually kind of looks like a good idea right here. Won't be too far to deliver the wool. But I need, I want to say I need flat ground. I don't want to run into problems with triggers not being available that's a little bit better yeah let's see what happens it's even better what do you think guys let's uh let's give it a go you can always fix stuff if it kind of screws up right 
There we go. And we're almost broke again, which is normal for us. Uh, concrete, dirt. That's what I've been doing, right? Dirt. I don't know if you guys noticed. Well, I tend to pick one texture for every different kind of map and I stick to it. It probably should be concrete, to be honest. Paved, but... Yeah. And that's kind of the access points right there. Clean this up a little bit. Ugh. Keep hitting the road. Uh, is that the texture? Fix that up a bit. There we go. Okay, let's just go with that for now. All right, guys, we got a we got a spin ring now. Now there's something else I want. I need out of dead ground. Oh boy. Uh oh, I don't want it too bumpy. So let's see if I can fix that a little bit. Zoom in. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Okay, we're good. It's going to look a little wonky with the... Yeah, this... Oh, no, it's okay. Okay, good, 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 good. I don't care if it's bumpy there. That's not a problem. It's pulling into here. That's the issue. The swirling spindle. Okay, so the next thing I want is I want a forklift. I want a forklift. We're going to use one a lot, I think. And... Um, we're going to need to buy that now. I only have 13,000 bucks, so obviously that's not happening right now. I do have this, which I can use. Uh, the catch with this is that it's kind of big. Um, and it doesn't fit. Oh, sorry, I just had to check on my Thara to see how the grass is going. 36%. We're safe. Um, this thing's kind of big, and it's kind of difficult to maneuver in here a bit. A small forklift would really be huge. Um, let's see, how many can I pick up? Okay. Alright, so let's get the wool. We'll get the wool right away into the production. We'll start the process. There we go. And let's turn on the production, of course. Um, wool fabric. So we're going to activate that. That's going to give us cotton. We might look into a tailor shop at some point. But for now, we're just going to go with with cotton fabric. Well, sorry, not cotton. Wool, wool fabric. Oh, I got three. Nice. If I could find something that um, would use this tool, this front loader tool, I wonder if there's an attachment for a skid steer, maybe something small. It really has to be small, that's the catch. too fast there. Okay. Okay, so that's that's one big big step forward. Um right here. Right here's a good spot. Every spot's a good spot. Alright, what's next? 13. So we've got um, yeah, we've got our sorghum up next month. So I, I need a second harvester. I need to buy that next, I think. Yeah. Yeah. How's our... Let's take a look around and see how this is going. Actually, it's... A lot of it is covered. Still 18%. Do we not be able to do the whole fields? That's interesting. I thought 
they had a lower capacity than that. It's you know how it's gonna work, right? We're probably gonna come up just short. It's usually the way it works. Okay, how's this guy doing? I don't know how much I lost because I wasn't paying attention, but uh, what can you do? It's kind of free grass anyway, right? And this is going to be one big field, I think. I think we'll merge it into one big field. Eventually, well, I say eventually. I don't even know if we're going to do it, but we may buy the property down here. Um, the one that includes that bridge. I just don't necessarily want to go across the bridge to do stuff. I'm not sure that's a high priority property, piece of property for us to buy, but we're still a ways off. Now it's time to buy some gear. Buy some equipment. Where, where are we at? 68. Okay, so uh, let me jump out here. Next thing, I, well, besides, besides more equipment, um, I also want to get a uh, production selling point want to get this guy premium expansion um uh silver run market and i'm gonna set that up uh where are we i'm gonna set that up over here on this piece of property here probably gonna go over here somewhere um this is gonna allow us to sell certain things including clothes and wool and a lot of random products fabric uh, it's going to give us another option for sell points so it does have it does buy a lot of different things so i don't want to necessarily set up a ton of individual um, selling points for specific products and kind of want to keep it general so we'll probably we'll probably get into that all right 79 percent gotta keep an eye on it i think we're gonna buy another one of these um, I do need a shed as well. We're gonna get more money soon. We kind of have like a trickle income. It just keeps every hour we get a bit more. Okay, let's have a look at something. Do I have anything in here? I have oats and canola. It's November, isn't canola? Isn't this the best time to be selling canola? Um, whoops, wrong place. Wrong place. Uh, canola. It is December. So right now it's selling at 23, uh, 13. We could sell it now. Uh, 2364 is the peak. And uh, where is it? And the best price is up the hill at the co-op, which we'll go to. It's significant difference. I, I wasn't gonna. I said I wasn't gonna sell stuff like that at the at the market stand. I'm gonna get this guy over here. Get ready to go to work soon. Ninety percent. Keeping an eye on it. But I think I will head up the hill and sell that canola and i only have the little guy available right now however however this is almost done well you know what Not what I want to do. Here we go. That's what I want to do. Oh, 98%. Wait till we're full, which will be any second now. There we go. That was kind of optimal. I think what we might do is um, we're going to finish up with drilling that field and I think we're going to rest 
Uh, let this guy continue tomorrow. Or next month, I guess. December. And then... Um, we've, we're going to have our hands full. Like, I, I, I'm not even ready to start taking care, you know, making a field out here yet. <laughs> I've got enough work coming in December, so... I think we're going to do that. Yeah, we'll rest up after as soon as we're finished drilling that field. I do have to check fertilizer statuses as well. I kind of forgot about that. I'm starting to realize there's a path that I that I'm favoring uh, to get here, and it goes through a kind of a bumpy spot. Yep, just short. Called it. Good news. The good news, I think we have enough over here to finish up. I'm just going to top up with the two, two pallets I have here. And we'll, uh, we'll get that going. Finish it up and then we'll rest. And where's my fertilizer? I don't know how much I've got in the bucket. Oh. Okay, we have a lot of seed, not so much fertilizer. I could start making my own fertilizer, but problem is that means I have to get into pigs or cows, and I'm not sure I want to do that in this series. Already got enough cows going on other series and pigs. Let's do this manually. We'll try to make it real quick. There might be a corner over there I need to fix up a bit. Let's race down there. We'll have more money in the bank tomorrow, overnight. Um, all of that silage uh, processing. Oh, I gotta get fuel. Okay. We're done with this. Let's go rest. And um, we'll get everything started up again tomorrow. I might switch up. Ooh, I don't want to ruin the, the, the course. So I guess I could change. I could copy the course over. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud here. And... I am just going to park this over here because I don't have sheds. I need more sheds. I mean, I have this one, but it's a little tricky to work with. It's kind of tight in here. Put the tractor in the shed, though. There we go. All right, let's rest. Uh, let's sleep until nine since it's the winter. Good morning. Okay, so I think I'm going to continue with the Stara. I'll, I'll, I'll suffer the pain with a lower tractor to get up the hill to sell the canola, but... Um, yeah, I just don't want to mess with the course. Alright, so I think I want to start going through here. Instead of going by that... By that silo. I'm going to get out here, clear the trees, and I'm going to say last waypoint. And I think it's just going to do its thing. See ya. All right, we're ready. Sorghum is ready. We do have to absolutely harvest it because uh, next month we got a pile of other stuff coming up. So our money's up to 99,000 now. That's really good. 
Uh, we do have some fabric now. I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. Uh, this isn't a high speed um, production, so, you know, there's going to be few and far between it, and there's no real rush. How are the sheep doing? Let's check on these guys. Those guys are important. Oh, yeah, they're all good. 101 now. Reproduction is going. Okay, so so here's here's how we're tackling this the the challenge. Uh, we need another one of these, and we're gonna get two working on here at the same time. I'm gonna try to get them to auto unload. I have a have a little bit of a strategy up my sleeve, but I don't know if I have quite the money for it yet. So I'll have to check on that. Um, okay, so first of all, new harvester. Uh, let's check here first to make sure. Oh no. Ugh. Okay, so here's the thing. This is a small potato harvester. And I think, what's the standard with a cover? I think this is the one that I've had a lot of problems with in the past. So, so here's the catch. I'm going to buy this because it's a crazy good price on sale. If it's the broken one, broken mod, I will re I will resell it. I, do I just don't remember which one of these is the, the faulty one. I just don't remember which one of these is the faulty one. Uh, it might be this one. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get it. The, it's kind of the right size for our small potato fields. Um, should I do this? We need a topper with that, so that's going to be another 10k. Um, well, let's try it again. If it's the buggy one, I will recompensate, I'll sell it, recompensate any differences. Um, yeah, we'll we'll see. I don't remember. I don't remember now. This guy's 240, so we can't have that. This guy's way too powerful. This guy I use way too often. Uh, so nothing else is good here. So let's get to where we, the reason we came in here. We're going to buy another harvester, and the one we buy is right here it is. This is a trusty little trusty little tractor um, harvester. I really like it. I use I can use this all all day. And we need the header for that. There we go. We're at 38,000. And we bought a bunch of junk uh, stuff. <laughs> and they're popping up over there again. Oh, right, right. This is a new spot. Why is this running? Okay. New stuff, guys. A lot of red. I have a lot of red equipment. I was watching a live stream, Rusty Money Gaming, uh, last night, and. Um, he was doing, he was dipping back into FS19, having a look at his, his game saves, um, which was kind of pretty interesting. Um, so I got curious about mine. Uh, I wanted to see if Steam still had my, my cloud saves. And uh, so I did, I reinstalled FS19, and indeed it has my cloud saves. Awesome, yeah, right? Uh, problem is, uh, it doesn't have all my mods, including maps, so I was getting that, you know, kind of blank uh, game safe. You know, you don't have the map kind of thing. Um, so I went to look for the maps. A lot of mods are gone from FS19. So if you don't have them already downloaded somewhere, um, they're gone. A lot of the maps are gone. You can't re-download them off of ModHub. That's sucks. 
there's a couple of maps that I wanted to look at. I had a, a monster farm on, on Doll Ranch. Um, insane farm. Anyways. Okay. Alright, so... Uh, this has to be open. But we'll do the thing. We did a little bit of this on No Man's Land. Multiple harvesters. Um... We are going to do open the generator. We're going to do multiple tools and we're going to do one headland. Uh, when you do multiple tools, it is uh, each tool will do one headland. So it, it, it ends up being two headlands in this case. If you had three tools, it'd be three headlands. But if I set this to two, it's going to be four headlands. So it just multiplies out, right? Uh, okay, that looks good. Okay, and this is going to be by default our left, left harvester. So let's get that started. Now we jump in here, we copy the course, get out, get in this one, and we paste the course, and then we make this the right one. And we go to first waypoint, and off we go with this one. Now, I gotta go in here now. I wanna change a couple of settings. I always turn that off, if, um, especially if we don't have crop destruction. I always turn that off, because I don't like that. Um, here's the important one. I'm going to try to get self-unload working on this one. And stop when unloading. So, actually, do I want this? Yes, I want this. There's a reason I want this. Okay. Let's jump into this one. We'll do the same kind of settings. Uh, that's already set up. That's our, this is our original harvester. Self unload. Okay. There's a reason for that. So, let's get this guy out. Uh, I got a bit of a predicament now, I just realized. Got a bit of a problem. Um, I have to go sell the canola, so I need the trailer. Oops. Thought it connected. Okay, let's do the canola first. They will just have to wait for me. Probably could use a second trailer, I guess. Uh, do I have enough money for a second trailer? Not a second before I do this. Before I do this, I need eight is not enough. See what I did there? This one here, 18.5, I think is actually a really good size. Um, so I'm tempted to do this. This is 23,000. I have the money for it. Uh, you know what? You know what? I always go looking for other stuff. Uh, mods. That's, it's nothing wrong with using base game every now and then, right? Uh, cover. I don't wanna, do I really care about this? Probably not. It's going to be off most of the time anyway. Let's do that. 18 is actually a good size for us at this point. So let's buy a second trailer. Okay, it's all 14,000 bucks. We're not going to use this trailer for that. We're going to use this guy. Uh, not with this tractor. I need this tractor to go up the hill. The more powerful of the two I have left. So let's go get the new trailer. Bought a bunch of stuff. We're, we're doing good now. Money, money's flowing pretty well. And covers off. This will be a good challenge for this this horsepower anyway. 
get up that hill. How are we doing with our mower? We are at uh, 74%. Gotta keep an eye on that. Uh, oats, canola. Oats, I think, is a good is selling price now, too, though. Uh, oats might be January, though. I'll have to check. 12. Okay, this might be interesting. Okay, the two harvesters are waiting on me now, so that's a problem. I don't know if this guy's gonna make it if I set him on... If I set him on create job... Go to... I don't know if he's gonna get up there. Where are we? Zoom out, zoom out. There we go. Ooh, very laggy. Let's just... Try to go here. Okay. Uh oh. Where the heck are you going? Uh, you know what? We'll just trust him. Okay. Next. Like that. Go get this trailer. We'll use this to unload the field. There is a Comlands um, production that is for making donuts. And considering it, considering it, I would have to get um, some kind of flour mill, some kind of sugar, and I think I need eggs. I'm not sure. After I don't remember. Maybe we'll do that. Next episode, I think we're going to have enough money to do my secret strategy. Oh, my grass is almost full. Let's jump over to that real quick. 95. Not cutting off much, is it? Seems off. Does that, that seem off to you? Tool offset. For some reason it seems to be... It's kind of weird. Those minus... Uh, minus Point one meter. Hey, where are we? Oh, we're at 100. I was too busy looking at the thing. All right. Let's head up here. Come on. Oh, 200 horsepower challenge. Okay, so I'm looking over at the other field there. It looks like... It's trying to unload. It looks like it's doing it very awkwardly. Yeah, I'm going to have to get involved in a minute. Now, I don't like that this little intersection here kind of I don't have my my road lined up properly my little path into the farm okay well that's unloading Yeah, it's not going to work, is it?
For this series, um, you know, I kind of stated that it was going to be one month per episode. And it kind of is, but I am, you know, mid mid episode jumping to the next month, um, which is, I think, is fine. I think that's going to be okay. There we go. As long as I'm not doing, you know, more than one one sleep per episode, we'll call it. Okay, looks good. Uh, this guy made it. Awesome. Well, maybe I'll test them a little bit further into the into the yard next time. Right. Which side am I tipping here? Back. That's fine. Alright. Canola money. That said, if we're doing those fancy potatoes, I'm gonna need some canola probably for um, making oil. Potato chips. We'll call this the snack series. We'll make potato chips, we'll make donuts. Maybe some delicious soy drinks. Blech. No, we're not doing soy drinks. That production, I should have fueled up. Ah, let's push it even further. Maybe I'm just going to get a gas pump on the property. A gas tank. Yeah, I think I said I was going to do that. So, um, let's, let's create job target position. And let's go up here and see if maybe that works a little bit better. I want to try to avoid it coming through here. There's problems here. But it's probably going to try. Nice. So that was the first harvester. And this guy's ready to go again. Not sure how much longer. I will finish this mowing off camera because I think our episode is getting is getting there. We're, uh, we're over an hour now. I keep wanting to come through here. I think we're going to move this silo, smooth out the ground because it is a little challenging. And uh, there we go. This is going well. It's going good. I just get like 30 of these little harvesters. Humble. <laughs> You know, kind of a worker bee farm. Billions of little helpers everywhere. Uh, where are we? Yeah, see, it struggles here. For some reason. The splines aren't set up properly, I don't think. Harvester is full and so is my trailer. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, so that was the sorghum. Uh, sorry. That was the canola. And then the price on price on oats is peak at 
uh, February, um, January, next month. So we're gonna wait, wait a little bit on that. All right, I should probably move this out to the field. Yeah, I think I could use this this guy on the field now instead of the smaller trailer. I don't need him for anything else. I think I'm gonna set up over here. Actually, this one's full, so we'll just go unload it. Oh, that one's full too, so we'll go unload that as well. Okay, this one's also full, so we'll go unload this. We got 43,000. Next month we're gonna do something cool. I think I think it's gonna be cool. I might it's, it might be a little pricey though, so we'll see. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. I am going to continue uh, this field off camera. Uh, we'll get it emptied out, uh, all harvested. And then um, we've got a few other things we're going to do. Um, I'll probably finish the grass as well. And then I'll be ready for our next episode. Ugh. I keep forgetting this is a side tip. We'll put that in here, but we'll probably sell it next month. I think sorghum is uh, January as well. So January is going to be a sell month. that's going to be it guys uh thank you very much for watching i hope you're enjoying the series hope you enjoy the direction we're going in and um more importantly i hope you guys have a great day